Hey guys, what's up? So today, guys, uh, we are back on Roblox, and today I'm going to be go ahead and uh, we're going to be starting a new series on this channel, and this uh, series is going to be we're going to be taking the Roblox map, which is this castle here. We're going to be turning it into a um, kind of slightly better designed castle, so to speak. We're we're going to start by every episode, and we're just going to change stuff. Um, and we're just going to improve upon what's already a, a decent model, like for example that bridge. But today's episode we're going to be focusing on the tree. We've got two different types of trees here. Uh, in today's episode we're going to be focusing on this tree here. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this tree, but we're going to make it into just one part. Rather than they be, you know, there's like one part here, two parts, three parts. There's so many parts that make up this tree. But with Blender we can actually make all this tree just one individual part. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and open Blender. And we'll get that open. Okay, so we're going to start. I'm going to just delete everything uh, we have on here. So I'm press A and I'm press Delete. And right now we have uh, basically an empty, an empty space. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do press Shift A. We're going to create a mesh. And we want to do a tree. So we're going to go ahead and do a cylinder. Uh, yeah, cylinder. And we'll go and tap down here, and we can go ahead and choose, you know, the, 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 how many how many sides it has and so forth. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just refer back to our original one to see how many kind of like, you know, it's quite round actually. There's not very really much points to it, so we might as well uh, go back to Blender now and just have a little play with it. It all depends on your preference really. We're gonna go for about twelve, I think is quite a good. Yeah, yeah, twelve. So let's go ahead and press G, and I'm going to go ahead and press Control, and it's going to be able to uh, move the uh, mesh up so it's level with our board here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, first of all, we're going to press Tab to go into Edit Mode. We're going to press 3 to set Face. Press Q uh, and press the Move. You can go to the, the Tools here. If you right click, you can get Assign to the Quick menu. So now I can just press Q to change to whichever tool I want to use. So we'll go ahead and press move. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and let's set the size or the height of it. So by looking back at the Roblox world, we can see that it's got like a nice like stalk upwards. And then it branches off into three different sections. One section there, one section there, one section there. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, start by doing that something like that in blender so what we're going to do now is we're going to just uh we're going to go ahead and duplicate this so we'll do that now so shift d to duplicate and then what we can do is we can just grab it at like this oh gosh that's not what i want to do um extrude sorry we're going to extrude it and then we're going to go ahead and press this button here we're going to press linear and then we're going to go ahead and press uh, this little button here. And that should be when we press G, it should just move with the mesh. Now, let's go ahead and get it to like a nice angle. Something like this. And that's just going to make it look a little bit more natural. And it's going to make it look like it should be belong there, basically. So, looking back at the original tree. So I said we've got one branch off there, which is what we're doing. We've done now. We've got another branch off that. Oops, we're lazy. We're doing. I'm still using Blender controls. Uh, another branch that goes off to the right. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and select the line that we've got around here, just like this. And I'm just going to make sure I've got all the edges, of course. And then I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it again. And then I'm going to go ahead and extrude it. Oh, no, sorry, not extrude. I'm going to press G again. Oh, gosh, no. I'm going to extrude. And then I'm going to press uh, G. Ah, oh, no, I'm not. Sorry. I'm going to turn this off. I forgot that I had that on. Now when I... Yeah, it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and do Shift D to generate a new one. We're going to go ahead and press G. That's not right. Oh gosh, this is so bad. Right, let me just start that again, shall we? 
Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, edit, redo, sorry, there we go. Right, let's start again. So what we're going to do now is select the bottom half here and we'll do this as well. We'll go all the way around our object here. Now that you've got all the, all these selected, we can press the three button to go into face select mode. And then we can go ahead is we can extrude. And we should go ahead and extrude it so it's like level with it. So this should be about right, yep. Now again, we're gonna look back at the Roblox to see what it's like. So it's kind of like, it's going to go ahead and so we get to go straight off like that. So now the question is, why would you want to do this? Well, one thing is the more parts that you have in the world, the more laggier it's going to be for players. So by doing this, you're uh, basically preventing players from, ha from having lag, uh, which is always uh, what you want to try and do in Roblox. And also you can see how it's gone like a weird squash shape, which is going to go ahead and turn this on now. And that should now be more kind of natural. Okay, that should be about right. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that's good enough for now. So we'll go back to Roblox. I'm just going to go ahead and reference this off as well. So again, we've got another one that goes kind of not as long as these two, but it's just a little bit short. So we'll go back to Blender and we're just going to keep on just repeating, rinsing and pre repeating this. We're going to go into uh, two. We're going to go ahead and select all around our object here. Just like this, there we go. I'm gonna press three. Okay, nope, sorry, one second. We're gonna make sure we got it selected first. Didn't realize I didn't have it selected. One second, there we go. It's gonna be press three. Oh no, why is it you doing that? Okay, shift D, right? And then we can go ahead. Ah, we, that's why it's not allowing me to do that because it's that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and extrude that upwards. I know I don't want that. Why is it doing this weird? Right. Okay. Let's try that again. Sorry. So we're going to select the perimeter here, making sure that we always get the all around the, the actual shape here. So we're going to go ahead and do that now, all the way around, just like that. Now we're going to press three. Why is it not allowing me to do that? How strange. Um, I'll be back in a second when I've got this uh, all sorted. Of... Okay, so what we're going to do now is just grab the um, the edges here. Just so we can grab everything down the bottom here. Right? We're going to press Shift D. We're going to press F. And then we can go ahead and extrude that. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to about halfway here. Right? It's about halfway. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. And we'll go ahead and just make sure that it's like, you know, kind of, it kind of looks the same as, 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 as we've got on this, on the Roblox bit here. So we've got a stalk upwards. It goes off in one direction. And then it goes off to the other. And then off the other. Yep. Let's go back to Blender now, and again, I, that kind of looks right. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set three. I'm just going to go ahead and press G. I'm just going to make sure this is a little bit more kind of random, rather than it being like very straight and like looking like it should shouldn't it shouldn't exist like that. But there we go. So that's like a nice shape that I want. Oh, that's that's like what I want for this tree. So the next thing I noticed is this this tree has little bit like little roots off here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to simply create some roots for the tree. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select our tree, and we're going to basically we want to create roots. So we're going to go ahead and if we press Control R. We can create a line, and what we're going to do now is we're going to press Control. We can bring it down, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press A again. We're going to press Control R, do another another ring, bring it down, and just like that we can get like little intersections. And what we can do with these intersections is we can actually just pull them out. Um, so we'll do that now. So if we go ahead and we can actually just select the line here, we press delete and we do edges. Actually, that's not what I want. no, no, that's not one to do. We want to go ahead and select these faces here, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to grab these bottom faces as well. I'm just going to go ahead and extrude them out, and hold. If you press Control and Shift, you can get it into a little finer, uh, like pull out, and that's all we're going to do now is just do that for uh, the basically the root of the tree. So. We'll, do I want this, this tree to have like a circular bit? I don't know. Let's go ahead and do this now. We'll go ahead and press it, uh, extrude out and do Control Shift again. And we'll just go for, maybe just go for half a half a, uh, a like a like a thing here. Yeah, should be fine. Just like that. Yeah, that should be fine. So we'll go ahead and just do this. Rinse and repeat this all the way around. So extrude it out. Hold shift again, do it once. And we'll just do this for the rest of the way around. That's how I want my tree to look. The important thing is that you can never go wrong. It's all up to you in terms of how you want to design your tree. This is how I'm going to design mine and how I'm going to uh, basically reinvent the Roblox's default map. So let's go ahead and now we've done that. We're going to go ahead and press 2 to go into line mode. We're going to select our uh, sides here. And we'll select the bottom ones as well. And we're going to go ahead and press F. And that's going to create our joint there. We'll do the same for the top here. F again. And we'll just go ahead and do this all the way around until we've got the nice kind of shape that we want. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, oops, that's not right. What have we done there? Must have selected a different line there. So let's make sure we get the proper connection. Otherwise it won't look right. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do this. And also again, we must have set a different line there. So let's make sure you're not selecting different lines. There we go. And we'll go ahead and do this last little bit here. We've got one more. No, we've got a few more to do. So let's go ahead and do this and I will be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. So what I've gone ahead and done, as I said, I've gone all the way around and just added those little edges onto it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select, press the three tools to select our face. We're going to select our uh, parts here and we'll just go ahead and press control and tap all the way around our object. And then we're going to bring out the uh, smooth tool. And what we're going to do now is we'll just go ahead and smooth it on the opposite direction. And now that should basically make it more kind of like a root rather than than it being like very very blocky and I'm kind of liking that shape already it's kind of a nice shape it gives it a nice like tree like vibe and I'm liking that a lot again it's all up to you personal preference we can also go ahead now and if we go and select our uh, face mode face select mode and if we go ahead and set all the way around here make sure we're getting all the uh, faces on the bottom here just like this, all the way around until we've got the right selection. We can press S and we can get like a, you know, as, as thick as we want it to be. But for, I think I'm quite happy with the, the, the original shape. So there was, let's leave it at that and let's work on the next part then. So if you look on the Roblox, um, you can see how their, their trees are kind of like they've got another little like intersection to their uh, the tops here so we'll do the exact same uh, basically so we'll go back to blender now and what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look now select here um so we're gonna have two intersections so we'll go for uh it will go shift d and we'll go to extrude and then we'll go ahead and we're going to press G with, with the O selection. And we'll go ahead and press Control and we can just go ahead and make sure that that's like looking like where the tree should be basically. 
So I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and do the other route that's off of it. And maybe I don't want it that that big. Probably won't have it that big in the uh, in the actual thing. Maybe it's like just like a, you know, like a, like a, like a little turn. Nothing much. And we go ahead and select the rings here again, and we'll do the exact same as we did down below. We go Shift D, and then we're going to press F, and then we go ahead and uh, extrude, and then we will go ahead and make sure it's like level with with this uh, little bit here. And then we're going to go ahead and turn O on, press G. Oh gosh, no, not on it. Move it out of the way. There we go. And make sure it's just like got a natural curvature. That should be fine for now. And we'll go ahead and do the same for the rest. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. Now, if your tree does look a little bit squashed, what you can do is you can just select the tops of the trees and press G and just grab it and just make it a little bit more straight so it doesn't look as squashed. We'll go ahead and do it for this one as well just because it looks a little bit better. I'm holding Control and Shift at the same time to do that. And just like that, we've already got like a nice, you know, it kind of looks like a like like what we see on Roblox. But again, remember that this is only one part, whereas this is made up of about 10 different parts. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next part, which is going to be the, tr the actual tree parts. Let's go back to Blender. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and press Control right click. Oh, sorry. Shift right click, sorry, shift right click. And then we can go ahead and press shift A. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put in a isosphere. Right, and then what we're going to do now is we can actually press, uh, we can have more subdivisions, which means that we have more like triangles to work with. But bear in mind that Roblox has a cap of 10,000 triangles. So if you're going to do this, then you may have to discriminate your mesh. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry about it probably too advanced for you anyway in this in this it's probably a lot more advanced anyway so what we're going to do now is we're going to select uh, I'm going to show you that now anyway so let's go and do uh, three sub subdivisions right and radius we can go ahead and select it a little bit bigger so I want I want my tree size to be about that size in relation to the bush maybe it's a little bit bigger maybe something like that yeah, 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 that works. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab, well, first of all, I'm going to press P. And then I'm going to go ahead and do by selection. Right. So that's going to separate our parts. So now we can go ahead and just, you know, that's a different part. This is another different mesh, right? So let's go ahead and set this mesh. Press tab, press A. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to... First of all, I'm just going to go ahead and place it over our mesh here, or over our mesh here, and just going to get it into the right kind of shape, the right height, sorry, that's what I mean by that. Making sure that it looks like it should exist on top. So maybe something like that. I'm going to do this for all of the, the trunks that we've got visible. So we'll do Shift D, and I'm just going to place this onto this on top of this one. I'm going to go Shift D again. Place it on top of this one, just like that. I'm just going to go ahead and do this all the way around until I've got something I like, right? So something like that, maybe, it's, no, it's not right. So we press G again, or no, we need to press F, G. Just making sure I've got the right angle on it. There we go. I'm just going to keep doing it until we've got it looking nice. There we go. So go ahead and do Shift. So shift D again, holding control obviously because it's snapping onto it, pressing shift. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that's like actually on on the actual uh, trunk here. Again, holding, holding control and shift really helps here. Find that little spot that you want, okay. I'm going to do the exact same here to this one. Okay, right. Making sure that's actually on the actual trunk. There we go. Give us a second. There we go. So that's the kind of shape. Now, again, some may be wrong. That's fine. Don't worry about it. 
we can fix it in the future, but for now we're just going to leave it here. So what we're going to do now is, because the other tree here, for example, on Roblox, it's got loads of little blocks in between, you know, it looks like it would be a tree. So we're just going to go ahead and do that on Blender, basically. Let's go back to Blender, if I can open it up. And what I want to do now is I'm going to press Shift G. I'm going to place one in the middle here. Make sure in that center by pressing Control Shift. And then I can just move it into the center. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. So it's going to, going to, going to, going to fit in between all, all of the, the trees that we have. Now, right now, there's way too many triangles for Roblox. Right? The Roblox is going to have a hard time working out what part of the tree is what. We're going to fix that in a second. So what we're going to do now is, now we've placed this here, just to make sure it's lined up properly. So again, holding Control and Shift really helps you there to get that really lined up and really looking like it should do. What we're going to do now is, because uh, right now it just looks like a ball in the middle of the air, we don't want that. So what we're going to do now is if we go ahead and we press uh, Mesh, we can go ahead and do, uh, where is it? So we do Clean Up, and we do to disc uh, Discriminate, no, where is it? You discriminate geometry. And right now we can uh, we get a menu pop up at the bottom left. If we go ahead and increase so yeah, increase that, we have even less triangles. So decrease that, we get less triangles, which is what we want. Because you can see how it's starting to look like the right tree part we need. So we're gonna set all of our messages by pressing uh, sorry, our meshes by pressing A. And we're gonna go ahead and do mesh. And we go ahead and uh, discriminate it. So we'll go ahead and we go to clean up. And we go to discriminate geometry. And as you can see, that is like starting to look right, but it's not quite right yet. So let's get the right shape we want. So I'm going to go something like that. Looks pretty good. Yep, I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to, um, oh gosh, we're just going to basically do the exact same. Um, I say the exact same. We're just gonna grab this, this little bit here. So these little triangles here. I should be more clear with my words, but I haven't got time to be clear with it. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna grab our sphere here. I'm just gonna make sure I grab all the sides that are visible because we don't need to see the sides that aren't visible. Now the player is just gonna be looking at the parts that are visible to them. We should like things, little faces like this, we can grab, making sure we get all these little faces that are visible. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and shift G, D that, and we can just start placing them on this tree to make it look, look a little bit more natural. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that exact same thing here. We'll just place it inside the tree. Again, you always let go of it and replace it if you need to. We're just gonna get something that I like uh, like more so. So let's go ahead and uh, we can shift G again. So shift D again, not G, shift D again. And I'm just going to start placing these so they kind of fit in with the tree. So it doesn't look like it's just a ball in the middle of the air, which is what does look do does look like at the moment at the, mo uh, at the present moment of time. So we'll go ahead and press shift D again. And I'm just going to place this down here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this uh, on top of our circle. This is just a reference point for our placement. Right? So from a distance, it doesn't. it's starting to look like a tree. It's starting to, but it's, it's, it's not at the moment presently. We will be working on that. So let's go ahead and make sure we get the top of the tree here. Just going to place it so it looks a lot natural. Then at the moment it doesn't doesn't look that natural. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get the right angle on this. And we're gonna press G to move it around here. Now you can see there's a side that's not visible. That's perfectly fine. What we can do is we can just uh, press the two, uh, and we just go ahead and grab the sides here, just like this. And we can press F to fill that in. And that's just going to fill it in and make it look a little bit more natural. 
And that's all we're going to do now is for the rest of this is what we can do is so we can grab if we press one and go to point mode, we can go ahead and basically wherever there's a, a gap like the here, for example. Uh, one second, sorry. So wherever there's a gap, we can just press. I'm trying to get the right point, sorry. So for example, we can select here, select here, and then select here. And we press F. We're getting a, kind of a natural shape, which is what we want. So now if we go ahead and we can select our points here, one here, uh, one here, and one here. One here as well. Press F. And that's just going to make it look a little bit more natural and it's not going to look, look as kind of tree-like as it does at the present moment in time. Go ahead and do this as well. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll get back once I've gone all the way around the tree. Just basically going around and press, pressing all these dots. And making the tree a little bit look a little bit more like a tree rather than it looking like one giant block, uh, giant circle with loads of circles around it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so... Now that you've gone around all the, uh, like the, the the parts and fill, filled in all the gaps and things, like for example here, uh, we've got a gap here, so we're gonna press Shift and click all the edges, press F, F again, and uh, now you've got yourself a nice kind of a tree-looking shape where it didn't look like a tree before. If we press A again, we can also go ahead and mesh, and we can also, uh, if we go ahead and do. Uh, so we go to mesh, we go to normals, we go to shade it, no, so we go to shading, and we go ahead and we do smooth faces. Now that's going to start to look a lot more like a tree. And you can also see where uh, where the parts that don't really match up kind of fall into place as well. For example, here we can go ahead and just select here and do an F here. There we go. That's going to give you a little bit more of a kind of visual of things where. Things that don't add up, the more darker the shade is, the more, like, see here, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we press F. Um, just make sure we're getting that kind of nice shape and the nice shading that we want. As you can see here, it doesn't work. So do F again. And you're just going to go around looking, uh, looking for the gaps in your textures and all your uh, symmetry. So over here, for example. So we'll go ahead and maybe do something like this to there. Right. And then maybe something like this to there to there. You know, some, something to just so it gets rid of this shape, I mean, that this dark, dark patch here. Um, so thinking maybe something like there to there. Why has it done that? That's fine. Um, so maybe it's just like, yeah, again, just selecting this side, press the F on it. And then you're looking for any little dark patches that don't really add up. So again, like here it does work, but doesn't like it a lot. So if you go on it and press F, it should fix some sometimes. And basically you're just trying to get it to look a little bit more natural, fit in a little bit more than it, it does, does it, where it does now, quite now. And eventually you should have, you know, a more natural looking tree. Now, there's always going to be a few little parts that, that haven't been, you know, ironed out. But you can always, you can always work on it. You can always edit later. The, the purpose of this video is not to, uh, again, it's not to uh, make the best tree or so forth. It's just to make it uh, look, uh, look a lot better than the original tree that is, uh, that was produced. So I could spend hours and hours and making more uh, more circles and making this tree look a lot more nicer, but that's going to defeat the point of this video. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to make this other mesh here look a little bit nicer. So we'll select it, go A, go to mesh, and this time we're going to go ahead and we we'll do shading and we we'll do shade smooth faces again. Now you can see how it doesn't quite look right. So what we're going to do now is we we'll go ahead and do mesh. We do shading and we do flat faces. And then what we're going to do now is we're just going to select the, the actual thing. We're going to do mesh. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do, do, do. we're going to clean up. We're going to do a discriminate again. 
we're going to do is our shop, but we're going to give it like a more of a natural look to it. Something like that. That looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty natural. Yeah, that works well. And then if we go ahead and we do shade smooth now, it should look a lot better than it did before. So let's go ahead and do uh, shading and we do smooth faces. And you can see there's some issues there with that. Oh gosh, do not press F twice on that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do mesh and we'll do shading and we'll do sharp edges. And that's already looking a little bit better. Okay, so now you may ask the question of, okay, but how are we going to get this tree that looks like this to look like a tree? You know, this has a nice texture on it. Well, this is where PBR textures come into play. So we're going to go ahead and search up uh, PBR textures. PBR textures free. And we're going to go ahead and select a nice uh, material that we want for our tree. So let's go and look at the... Uh, let's go and look at the leaves section. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Wood. We've got a wood section. There we go. Wood. And then let's have a look at nice wood material. So maybe something like... I don't really want like... Maybe it's like... Uh, trees. There is a tree section. I didn't see that. So let's go to tree. Okay. So here's a much, a much better section for a tree. So I kind of like this old tree bark material here. So let's go ahead and set that. And that's like a nice viney colour there. So I might grab that as well for the leaves. So we go ahead and press the blender one, which is the uh, BL folder here. And that's going to download there at the top right. We'll let that download. And we'll go back a second and we'll go ahead and get this mossy viney texture and have a look at what it looks like. So that looks quite nice. That might look quite nice for the tree, so we'll grab that as well. Dot blend the blender. There we go. And once they've downloaded, it should take a second for them to download. There we go. We'll go ahead and just grab those files. Go back to Blender, of course. Uh, we'll go ahead and make sure I've got those files. One second. There we go. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead, set these files, and we're just going to go ahead and extract all. And we'll go ahead and just for the purpose of this video, we'll just go ahead and extract it to here. And just select and do ahead and extract. Okay, so that's go ahead and do does that. Has done that, sorry. So that's the vines done. We'll do the bark as well. So we'll go ahead and extract that as well. So extract all. And we'll go ahead and extract that to the same folder. Select folder, extract. Now we've got the bark and the vines. So let's go ahead and go back into Blender. And we'll head to the shading tab. And what we're going to do here is we're going to press open. Go to the desktop. And we're just going to select the, exact, the, the same folders that we had before. So, for example, we'll have um, bark. And we also have all the other stuff. So go to the bark. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do put in the files that are the following. Rough, the normal, metallicness, the height, and then we have the, um, the actual colour of the object. So we're going to open them for now. And we'll go ahead and uh, get again and we get the... Is it this one? I think it might be. No, so that's a different one. That's completely different. We need the... Yes, this one there. That's the actual colour of the tree, which is one. So we'll go ahead and select our mesh here. The cylinder. And we'll go ahead and press new. And what we're going to do now is we're going to press shift A. And do a image texture. And we'll go ahead and select the bark. And we'll go ahead and drag that into there. And that's going to give it a nice bark texture. Although it doesn't look quite right at the moment. We will fix that. We we'll then press this to a uh, smart, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to UV. We're going to go ahead and press the rendered view here. I need a drink. One second. So, as you can see, we've got our tree here. And it doesn't quite look right at the moment, so that's fine. 
What we're going to do now is we press A on our tree to select it. Then we're going to press U. And we're going to press Smart UV Project. OK. And as you can see, it's already started to look a lot better. But it's not quite right. So we're going to press A, a on here. And then we're going to press, uh, what is it now? We're going to press, no, no, no. We're going to press, what is the button now? U. Yeah, we press U. And then we're going to go ahead and do a cylinder protection. And as you can see, it is going to work now. Uh, except it's not quite right. We're going to need to scale that down uh, so it looks, matches a little better. And maybe we do a cube proje projection instead. Does that work better? Let's have a look. So from a tree point of view, yeah, that works. That works quite well, actually. So we'll go back to the shading tab. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and move the material output over here. Go ahead and press Shift D again. So what I'm doing. Now select the image over here. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate our uh, thing here. So press Shift G D. Sorry. And what we're going to do now is we're going to well, first of all zoom in a little bit. Go ahead and select the uh, where is it? The roughness, and we'll go ahead and set that into the roughness tab. Right, we'll go ahead and press uh, Shift A and we're going to go ahead and type in displacement. Drag the displacement into the displacement. And then we can go ahead and, okay, what we need to do is not that. So displacement into displacement, get rid of that, that one there. I didn't realize I'd done two of them. We're going to go ahead and basically we're going to do Shift D again. We're going to then do the normal. I'm also going to zoom in because it's very, very, very far away. So the normal. We're going to put that into the normal. And just like that, you can see how the instantly the texture of the tree is a lot better in terms of it looks a lot like it, like a tree. So press Shift D again. And we're going to go ahead and put the height and then place the height into the height. So that should now give it a natural looking look to it. I don't think there's any more, but let's go check. Let's have a look. We've got the height. Oh, is this, is this no? Yeah, height, height, height. Normal, normal. Done that. Done the oh the metalliness. That's 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 what we need to do. So let's go over here. Do a Shift D. And under metal metallic. There we go. We're gonna put set to metallicness. There we go, metallic to metallic. Now bear in mind, some textures do, don't actually have that metallicness, and that's completely fine. So that's already looking 10 times better than the Roblox one. Yeah? So what we can do now is we can move on to our uh, actual tree texture, our leaf texture, sorry. Let's do that now, we'll go ahead and first things first, we'll open up the files. We'll go back to the uh, the vines and do the vines now. Do the exact same as we did for the bark. So again, what we're going to do now is we're going to go Shift A and do a image texture. Set to Smart. And we'll go ahead and choose the vines color. Put that to base color, and that's looking a lot nicer. I'm not entirely sure I run it yet, but we'll see. We'll go to the UV editing tab, we'll select our uh, leaves, press U, smart project, press enter. Right, and that's looking a lot better actually now. We'll go into here and then we just have a little look and see if we do U, we do Q protect projection. And that's just to make it look a little bit more natural. Now I said I'm not entirely sure if I want it or not, we'll see. And also scale it down, make it bigger. All depends on what we want. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Again, it's all personal preference. You could always have your own texture here. You know, it, it is entirely up to you. You, know, you, can even, you, can even, what you can even do is select the faces. And we can just move ahead and scale it down, move it onto the green. Just like this. And then it's going to make it look a little bit more kind of accurate, I'd say. Again, you can probably just scale it down. 
and that's going to look like a tree, which is actually looks a lot better than what I have now. So let's go and do that for the whole entire thing. Let's go ahead and scale it all down. Just like this, and let's make sure we move it onto the, the leaf or the, the vine area. Just like that. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, apart from it just not looking exactly right. So we'll do this, and then anywhere it's got like weird, weird bits, we can just go ahead and press G and move that to a different area. But I kind of like that. It kind of look, looks quite like it looks natural, it looks like a tree. We'll go back to the shading tab and we'll just give it the finishing to polishing touches now. Uh, so we're going to do the exact same as we did before. Shift A, displacement. And we'll go ahead and place that into displacement. We'll do the exact same here. So Shift D. We'll have a look at what we got. So we've got the, again for the vines, we've got metallic. There we go. So we'll put the metallic to the metallic. Shift D again, and let's have a look again. Normal, so there we go, is the normal into the normal. And then we do Shift D again. And then, so go ahead, and we've got, I think we've got the height, yes, as well. So we do the vines and height. Oh gosh, no, that's not what we wanted. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. Right, so we need the height. So we'll go ahead and do that and set the height. Right, and then we can go ahead and do, I think there's a roughness as well. Roughness, there we go. And roughness, bingo. And there we go, that's already looking a lot better. I mean, it doesn't look the best, I will admit. But like I said, I'm not trying to do the best. I'm just trying to make it look a lot better. I'm just trying to show you guys that uh, you can make things look a lot nicer. Um, just with a lot of a little bit of effort and not really, you know, it's taking me like an hour, which is a lot longer than I wanted to, to spend. But with time, you know, you get quality. And that, that's what I'm trying to show you here. So uh, now we've done this. And I've just noticed that we've got a little bit of an error here with our texture here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to set the texture, go into our UV editing, and then I'm just going to fix that as well. So we'll go ahead and press G and move this around a little bit so it makes it... It's actually a little problem with our texture. So we'll just do this and press F. And then we'll go ahead and just scale that down. Rotate it, sorry. Make sure... Right, I'm going to press UV, U here, Smart UVG Project. There we go. And that's looking a lot better actually. So we'll go ahead and set this, do U and do Q protection, projection. And there we go. And that's looking actually insane. It's not looking like a tree, but it kind of looks mental at the same time. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and file export that as an FBX. And we'll go ahead and do that to desktop. Castle of Roblox here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and create a new folder in here and we'll call it models. Models. Something like that. And then we'll call it a uh, tree. Um, basic tree. Basic tree. Just as an example. Uh, Castle of Roblox here. Yeah, models. And save. Now let's go into Roblox and we're going to basically find all these trees and we're just going to replace them. So let's go ahead to meshes, upload a mesh, we'll go ahead and find our folder, blenders, models, and we'll go ahead and, oh no, that's not right, so you know, desktop, castle of Roblox here, models, basic tree, and press apply. Give it a second, it should go ahead and import it all. There we go. So let's go ahead and bring those into reality. So we'll press shift and then and press insert with location. Let's go have a look at what the list looks like. So there we go. There's our texture in the game. Now it doesn't look exactly right or the same, but that's because uh, Roblox has uh, specific things. But just looking at the difference, like 
Like, that's taken like 10 different parts to make this is one part. Right? And it already looks like 10 times better. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to simply... Uh, we're going to basically just place them in, in where the trees locations are. So we're going to just grab the trees here. We'll grab all these trees. See all these little trees here. Yep. We'll go ahead and delete them. Grab our tree, of course. There we go. And we'll go ahead and group them together. And we'll name this one um, Viney Tree. Why not? Viney Tree. Viney Tree. And again, like I said, it would, it's all up to your preference. My purpose of this video is not to make it look realistic, but just to show you that you can make things a lot better uh, with a lot, of, not a lot of effort, basically. But anchor that. I want to do is set the collision, collision, uh, 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 collision fidelity to precise convex decomposition. Right. And what we're going to do now is also set it to double sided. There we go. And you can also set the material if you want to. It does give it a little different effect sometimes. It's all up to you what you want it to look like. Uh, so like do concrete for example. It's entirely up to you. And that's going to give it like a nice little look. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select our viney tree. And I'm just going to basically create a folder in here. Oh dear lord. A lot of folders here. So I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to do folder. And I'm going to do, inside that folder I'm going to do, actually inside of, inside of foliage I'll probably do it in here. And probably do viney trees. Viney tree. Trees. So let's go ahead and, so those are the other trees. What I'm going to do now is I'm select our viney tree. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. Shift, so press Control D. Let me move them around the map, just so it looks a little bit more. Well, not natural, but looks looks a little bit better. And I'm going to leave this uh, up, up uh, vote for next the next uh, the next episode. So on the next episode, do you want to see me recreate the castle, the castle gate? Or, do you want me to see me rec recreate the bridge? Or do you want to see me recreate the, the other tr type of tree? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and just finish off by placing some of these trees around here. Just giving it, obviously, more of a natural feel to it. Not natural, but like, more of an accurate feel. I say accurate and I've got like vines as the thing, but... My point is, if you were to choose a, a right texture, you could get it to look look a lot better than the Roblox textures. So we'll go ahead and make sure we've got... I'm going to do one more tree just around here, just to make it... Because it feels right to have one more tree here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just... Last thing we're going to do is grab our trees and we're going to place them inside of our uh, Viney tree folder, not Niney. Niney tree folder, no. Viney tree. Viney trees. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you how to make these um, these castle doors and things all a reality. So if you want to see more of this in the future, make sure to drop a like down below. And you want to see more of this like type of stuff in the future, make sure to subscribe. My name's Ryan. And I hope you've earned a lot today. So thank you for watching. My name's Ryan and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.